Righto. Remember this, coffee is good. You can never have too much of it because you just need to have that stuff to chill out. Mr. Martin's got a magic little coffee maker up in the kitchen. Make good coffee. Okay, here's our general disclaimer. Please, if you're on YouTube watching this, just pause and read. The premise of it is we're not giving financial advice. We're passing out information that we have gleaned from multiple sources, sometimes from one corporate source, but mostly from several other places as well. So just make sure that you understand what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to help people, give them information that they can make use of. So we're here to talk about Sarah, which is the new move on from and basically merge of the Sophia business and the LFI business. Great technology that have that has come along and given us the opportunity to do some new and interesting things. Here we go. The butlers have joined us. They've walked up from the creek. Here's what we've been talking about for some time, Avanoc, a hybrid minting protocol. And we have had a number of people ask where the revenue comes from, from the licenses. And it's difficult sometimes to explain to people that Bitcoin does it by mining. And that's they mine and create tokens that are then sold. That's where the revenue comes from. This is a different minting slash mining protocol, but that's where the actual tokens come from. Gold tokens coming, we hope sooner rather than later, but I uh, watched a YouTube clip today from where they're getting the gold and how we're going to, well, we're planning on how we're going to integrate our system into that. So we will have access to a great process to get our metals converted and Desert Pearl, all of these project tokens will be coming to the fore in the next few weeks as they move over onto the new minting protocol. So XGI, they're in the payment system now. Sarah and Layer K tokens are beginning to be produced right now. So all of that is coming together into a single entity and the tokens are being transferred from the old minting licenses into new ones. And they will still mint the same number of tokens. They are still linked to the same assets, but uh, it's a different process now. And I much prefer this one because it sh shortens the minting time from, you know, five to eight years down to about three. It's a much better idea. And they have a liquidity pool which, keep, which manages the price of the token. So we're not seeing tokens swan dive now when you go to sell or buy tokens. They stay pretty stable. So here we are on the 20th of May. And I'm really staggered at how this year has gone with all these changes. It just sort of gone by in a blip. And here we are on the verge of June, which is the middle of the year again. Remember our slogan. Everyone goes forward together. We're doing our absolute best to help everybody take advantage of this situation. We've got a number of alternative plans in place for people going forward. So uh, just hang in there and we'll get this done because we mean it. So here's the basic platform. Zera has a marketplace called KMore. And it has a couple of product providers, Quantwise and Layer K. Layer K is the new blockchain token, the new blockchain service, the new phones that run on the Layer K blockchain, Mint tokens, etc. Quantwise 
runs in and of itself on an artificial generative intelligence platform. And then we've got some service providers like Wallach and Neo One. So we're going to talk a little bit about Wallach and Neo One tonight, just some updates and some more information that's coming through. And then at the end, I'm going to bring this down to a really simple process. Because if you're listening to these videos, thinking that you can catch up with the technology in a week or two, that's just not going to happen because this technology changes so fast that by the time you've caught up, it's changed again. So we're trying to give ourselves a simplistic view of it. So if only you do one thing, do this, and you will make sufficient rewards to make that a viable cash flow. You can then bit by bit catch up with the rest as you need to. Don't try and get your head around the changes that have just occurred because mostly they're around Wallach. And they haven't even published a list of terms yet, so we don't actually know what even some of the words mean. But uh, I think there's there's some there's some very good stuff here. So coming on the 13th slash 14th of July, because this will be spread around however many time zones there are in the world. We've been waiting for this digital exchange for a very long time, and it's about here. Cloud K 2.0, so that's the licenses that we have in our website. The new version of that uh, comes out 13th, 14th of July. And I'm hoping, hoping that the button will be live to say uh, reload. So we don't have to withdraw tokens, move them to an exchange, send them back, pay two or three lots of fees to get them back on the license. And there's some super nodes coming. I believe that's around the layer K token. And I have to be really honest and say, I have no idea what DAO means. And I've done a few hours of listening to a German translation to try and work out what it means. And I, can't gather what the guy's saying. So we'll get more information on that as time goes on. But second week of July, you're going to see some changes in the website. So remember, NeoBank is the only part of this system that has any financial services. So it's pretty complete, decentralized autonomous organization. Could be, Martin. Could be. Um, and basically, NeoBank is creating an open banking system. And if you look at why it's working, the system is built so that you can connect any banking services you've got into this one app and have control of it in one point of reference and that's a massive change but remember licensing and regulations cover this this is a financial service and i know there's been lots of hoopla lately about it's not this it's not that this is the only part of what we do that is a financial service that's why neobank is not available in australia yet we need to wait for all the licensing to be in place. They have one license in Australia, uh, but it's not a full banking license. So we're working on uh, getting that done. I'm working on finding out how long it's going to take. It's going to be a little while. Um, I suppose when we think about the fact that we're in the middle of the year already, it's probably not that long. But when I was in Dubai, they were talking about the end of this year slash early next year. So it's not too far away, but it's absolutely imperative that they have all these licenses in place so nobody can throw rocks at us. And I know there's already people that do that because they can't read or they can't do maths. And anyway, it is what it is. So this gentleman, Alessio, 
he is, I'm going to say, the brains behind Layer K slash Wallach. So the issue with him is very smart man, met him, talked to him, like him, nice guy. But he's at a level of understanding of the technology that 99.9% .9 of the rest of the world aren't. So when he thinks something is simple, we've got to then go away, think about it, and bring it back to a level where we can understand what the heck is going on. Because at the moment, um, what's happening with Wallach, um, not clear. I, in principle, understand the basics of it, but I got a heap more information today, and it made me look at the list and say, what the heck does that mean? So we're still trying to find out all of that. This only translation and PDF only came out Saturday night. So we are working on it. So this is what the Wallach dashboard is going to look like. It has pumps, power, current milestones, all sorts of things in there. And I have no idea how to impact those because they haven't, well, they maybe explained it in German, which is why I understood a little bit of it. But the English translation didn't even match the German words, so I've got no idea. We're working on that. We haven't had enough time to actually get a proper translation done. But there's lots of work going ahead on it. And this is a case study that they released that um, that dude, with Alessio, was involved in. This is another launch pad. So in 12 months, that launch pad did 114 launches of new coins slash tokens, whatever they were. And the average price increase was 23.7 times, not percent, times. So if you had a dollar sitting in there when it finished what it was doing with the launch and you sold them, you made $23.7, $23.70 from your dollar. That was the average. The last project was 107 times what they started with. So those two numbers are pretty staggering when you look at the general scope of it. Now, all of these launch pads have lots of requirements about how you put it together and what you do and how you get your tokens. Most of them, they're either airdrops or you subscribe and pay. But Wallach is not going down exactly that road, but they've already got five projects in the pipeline. One is a meme coin. So they've been allocated $1.5 million worth of that and four tokens, uh, 300,000 USD allocation for each project. Now, I don't know how many coins or tokens those allocations are, but that's what's going to be split up amongst the people that are in Wallach. Again, I don't know the details of how they're going to do that. I love the concept because if you can pick up 20 or 30 times return on the average token, that's worth doing. Even if you start with 50 bucks, that turns into a lot of money right quick. So just be aware that there's still a lot of information coming on that. I'm trying to get somebody onto a Zoom call so we can actually have a generic question session and answer a few things. But at the moment, um, still a lot of questions around it because obviously it's not live yet. So nobody can tell me exactly how it worked when they did it. So this is from last week, but I just wanted to remind you that in the history of airdrops, $4.56 billion worth of tokens in 2023 alone. So that's 40% down from 2022. That's a big number. Despite the drop in value, 13 of the top 50 airdrops took place in 2023 with Arbitrum leading at $1.9 billion. So they gave away tokens 
And all of a sudden, you've got however many tokens you got airdropped, you now have a share of that 1.9 billion. That's the sort of yield we're talking about. And, I'll, and there, it's a reward process. So that's also why Wallet has changed the normal process to do it this way, because if you're getting a reward for what you've got in the system and what you've done, that reward is not a financial service. It's a reward like the Zero program is a rewards program. How else do the normal people get access to some of this type of return? I'm just completely unfamiliar with anybody else that can tell me how to hook up to this. I've had lots of emails from various places over the years about, oh, there's an airdrop for this going on. Okay, nobody tells you how to get it. So this is a process that I hope will deliver in some level of simplicity for all of our members. Finally, we have a package that puts all this together in one place and one purchase. So for new people, you can show them this package and it's a great promotion for our future expansion because it includes all of the three major cash cows, cash roads, directions, whatever you want to call it. When we set out, we were building a simple residual income system, but now we have that on steroids because now we've got all this technology that was built from money we didn't have when we set out, so we couldn't do it. But it's been a process that just turns into a better system as it goes along. It's complicated. It's going to get better. Um, yeah, well, but we'll get to that in the end because I think there is a roadmap where we can just do a really simple thing and manage that. And yes, Martin, with these tokens, especially getting pre um, ICO access is really, really difficult. I did it a few times a couple of years ago, but and that was completely by accident. So here's the promo pack. And I'm not going to talk about all the price levels. They all deliver the same products, just in different sizes. So this is the basic one. And it's a 440 euro one. But let's just run through what you get for 440 euros. So there's a lifetime quantwise membership. That's 397 euros. There's a Cloud K license, 440 euros. There's $40, 40 USD worth of meme coins that have already been allocated. That'll be an airdrop into our system. And 120 USD worth of SLYK tokens in the Wallach wallet. And, you know, that's a mouthful in the Wallach wallet. So in total, that's a 997 euro value. And it all comes complete. Now, think about this. If you've already got a QuantWise membership, you can keep the key that they send you and sell that to somebody else later. Because all you need is the key to activate it in your website. So if Martin, for example, sent me a key that he bought in this process because I needed one, I can just use that key in the website and that account is now mine because I had the key. So there's a couple of ways that we can manage this as time goes along. Uh, Quantwise is starting to show some profits even from the um, price of Bitcoin going sideways. It's gone up a little bit. So we expect to see some very good returns out of that in the near future. So 
lots of things happening in this process and I'm not sure, of course, there's two other levels that are higher than this, but let's be realistic. The maths is exactly the same as in what you get is about 50% more than what you pay for. So it's a great way to do it because you, the Cloud K license is going to pay you, you know, 15% a month, something like that, that you put on the, depending on when you buy it. Um, that's a great little cash cow. The staked tokens in Wallach are going to do a great thing. The meme coins, who knows? What they're going to do, I mean, they're not something that I would count on for my life savings, but if you're getting them in an airdrop, that's a pretty handy way to make sure that those things come together and that you can do some damage with it down the road. So I think that's a pretty good deal. And uh, now you can't buy that with... Euro KV, which is your two pans. I think you've actually got to bring Euro K into the system, which is USDT. So let's break this down and keep it really simple. If you're new to this and trying to get your head around it, there's two things you can do to get underway. The first thing is buy a license or you can buy an all-in-one pack. If you're thinking about buying a 440 euro license, I'd be buying the pack because you get some other benefits. You don't have to use it all. You don't have to understand what the rest of it's about. Just use the license. But the other stuff will be there when you come back to it. Keep it that simple. Don't complicate it. Don't run around in circles trying to work out what the leverage on the meme coin is, I have no idea. Uh, you're basically going to get them for free. It's a, it's a really good option to get a nice spread of act, um, assets in the system. Trying to do too much all at once will be difficult. I know I keep going through this new stuff as they release it, and there's words in here. I've got no idea what they're talking about. I don't know how to impact those words because apparently they're of some meaning. But you just got to take it bit by bit and deal with what you can deal with. So remember, these are the licenses everywhere from 110 up to 1100 on that row. But that's the license you get in that pack. And everything that's in that license comes in that pack and the other stuff as a bonus. So it's a pretty good deal. Here's the dashboard we've been watching for the last few weeks. 283.95 CLFI staked. Got two licenses. And that was the yield two weeks ago but that's a seven day yield. The graph is solid, going in the right direction. There's been a couple of top ups there. So he's got 576 USD in that system. And now he's got a whole nother bunch of rewards. Two weeks later, um, He's generating 110 Australian dollars per month withdrawable. Uh, he's got some room on his licenses there, so we'll be putting that back next week onto those licenses so that he can fill those two licenses up. But that's a pretty good view when you look at that because I don't know anything else I can do and get out a token that becomes USDT when I withdraw it. US dollars, it's worth doing. Right, even better rewards. This system is just powering from strength to strength. Really like it. There's three major roadmaps that we're, we're following. 
Quantwise, Layer K and Wallet. Layer K is the simplest. You can buy a license, put some tokens on it. And all of our project tokens that we've currently got will also go on there on figuring that's in um, the 2.0 version that that's going to be turned on. So it's for me, that's the best place to start. The rest of it can come along as you go along. But if you're starting out and you're going to spend 440 euros, buy the pack because all this other stuff comes for free. So what you do if you're new, register. If you don't have a link to register on, contact us through YouTube and we'll find someone to get you a, get you a link so that you can get registered. You do need a, a registration link. Here's the discussion we started last week about robots and found a, a little bit more information this week. So now they're making what they call collaborative robots. While most robots are designed to work autonomously, a number of companies are now developing collaborative robots. So they are controlled by a human operator, making them safer in factories and workplaces like that where there's humans around. So thinks ro since robots collaborate with humans to accomplish tasks, they're also called robotic staff augmentation. Now, doesn't that sound just peachy? Everyone's going to be looking for an outcome to survive this because this is getting worse by the hour. How about domestic robots? They're already here. They're already in general use, like Roomba vacuum cleaner robots. They do their job. Go and, when they're finished, they go and park on their charger and get recharged. They're in our houses now. Remember, everyone's going to be looking for a way out of this. All the people that used to run around doing the simple jobs that robots are taking over, how will they survive? And medical robots. I've got a friend who had an operation a few years ago and the entirety of the operation was done by the robot. There was no human intervention. He was prepped and he was taken out of the theatre by nurses, but the actual operation was done 100% by robots. There was, there was just no person there to oversee if they were doing the wrong thing or the right thing. So they've been assisting for a long time, but now there's a whole lot of minimally invasive surgeries that happen with robots. And that's what my friend had. Instead of having uh, a big scalpel cut, there were two or three little holes on his skin where the robot had sent its little technical arms in, did its job, stitched him back up, and off it went and left him in the care of the nurses. So... It is amazing. They live amongst us as we speak. And nobody's even commented. I mean, you think about the the general population speaking about what's happening in the world. Nobody is complaining about what's going on with these robots. I mean, they're here amongst us now. And people have been talking about this coming in the future sometime. Don't. It's here right now. Everyone is going to be impacted by this. They need an alternative. And yes, Martin, they all have microphones on them. I've had in the last few days people tell me stories about how they were talking about something and it showed up as an ad on their phone, how to get that. That's astounding. They, they listen to everything that we're talking about. Watch out for this because there's more and more updates coming. That little flag will stick up every now and then. Uh, the 2.0 version of KMall is coming or Cloud K. So there'll be an update for that. There was an update over the weekend. There's more stuff coming all the time. But just remember, stick to the 
official media channels and you'll get all the right information. We have an Australian uh, Telegram channel. I probably should put that on there so we can share information amongst ourselves. How is our world going? Well, this is some classics this week. Global elites plan for the Great Reset. They will continue along this road because the very wealthy are going to make sure that when the currencies collapse and change, etc., that they will be very well looked after. They will be in charge and we'll like it or lump it. They don't really care. The ultimate shock absorber, why central banks are hoarding coal, gold, sorry. It's gold is sort of like coal, but gold is better in the summertime. Coal is better in the wintertime. So lots of stuff happening here. Short, big short 2.0. Um, this dude does great overviews of markets, and he's saying that the derivatives market is starting to crack again. So It'll be good to see what happens. All of this stuff is in the headlines now as we speak. We've been talking about this for the last three or four years. It's a great opportunity for us to keep our head above water because we've got the tools on our platform to defeat all of this. Sarah and AU for you. That I think is about us, ladies and gentlemen. I believe in Zera. The new hybrid mining protocol is going to take over in a big way. Better hardware, same job. And individual ownership means decentralization coming to a town near you. Has anybody got any questions tonight? If you're listening to this on YouTube, you can put questions in the comments on YouTube and I'll answer them. I've done a few of those in the last few weeks. Doesn't look like we've got too many questions coming up. Hey, everybody. I hope you got something out of that. I hope you... Uh, yep, that's fine, Martin. Uh, I hope you've got some something out of it. Good to see you on the call, Mr. McCabe. Mr. Martin, Bob and Irene, Sue, Tony, great work. Okay, everybody, we look forward to seeing you on the golden beaches of the world. Have a great night.